Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to teach you two theorems about triangles with respect to them, which ones are being congruent. And those theorems, one of them is abbreviated SSS, which is side, side, side. That's what SSS stands for, side, side, side. Without even knowing the angles, if we know that one side is congruent to the another side in another triangle, and a third second side is congruent to the second side, and the third side is congruent to the third side by the theorem side, 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 knowing all three sides corresponding sides are congruent, the two triangles are congruent. This one over here had a single tick mark, which neither of these did. So it's these two triangles that are congruent. Now it's very important that when you state that those are congruent, you also do the letters in the right order. And what I mean by that is, let's start with this bottom triangle. I'm gonna use the D first. So I'm gonna do D, and I need to make sure that when I do the second triangle, I do the letter that corresponds to D, which is the angle formed by the four tick mark and the three tick mark side, four and three, so that would be a J. And then if I go from D to F, and again, it doesn't matter the order, you can go left or right, but or clockwise or counterclockwise, so I'm gonna go F, but then the letter next to the J has to be the letter that corresponds to the letter F in this one, which is in between the second and the third, second two tick mark and third tick mark, so that's K, so I have to do K next. And then obviously the last letter is E, and the only last letter in here is I, and you hit submit. Okay, so the other theorem is if you know, now this is important to pay attention to because when it's the three sides, it doesn't matter what order they're in really because it's, they're all three sides. But SAS stands for side angle side. And the important thing is the angle has to be the angle that's formed by the two sides you know. So you'll know one side and you'll know another side and you know the angle in between them or the angle that it's formed. You won't, you, it won't be one of the other angles on the outside. So it wouldn't be this angle here or this angle here. That wouldn't make sense because it's, or that wouldn't be true because it's not the angle in between or formed by the two sides. So I come up here and I look, and what I'll notice is, well, first of all, right off the bat, I know this isn't the right one because it has a single tick mark where neither of these do. But if you'll notice, I have a side and a side. I have another side and another side. And the angle that's formed by those two sides are congruent. So by side, angle, side, those two triangles are congruent. Now I'm just going to do this a little quicker. I'm going to do I, H, J. So I put in all three. Now just make sure you do the right letter. If you don't, it's going to make a mistake. So I was next to the two-sided, not the one up here. So I was down here. W or corresponds to W. H is cross, which corresponds to X. And then the last one is V. So make sure you write the letters in the right order. Otherwise, you will be marked wrong. Again, looking very quickly, we notice that this one has a double tick mark where neither of these do. So, and what I might do is actually go PRQ. So I'm gonna go PRQ, which is going along the, from across the single tick and then past the three ticks. So I'm gonna go IJK. That just helps me keep the letters in the right order. And that's very important to keep the letters in the right order. I know it seems kind of trivial to you, but when you move into higher mathematics, it is very important. So again, I noticed one, two, three, one, two, oh, that's a four, one, two, three. So it's these two that are congruent. This one has a four in there, which the other ones don't. So I'm gonna start next to the one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around this way. So I'm gonna start with the X, go X, Y, Z. So X, Y, Z, and then I just gotta make sure I started with X is in between the one and the two. So I'm gonna find the in between the one and the two, which is D, D, and then I cross the two to F, and then out to E, past the three tick mark to E. Order is very, very important. Uh, obviously this one has a three tick mark. 
Neither of these do. So I'm going to do WXY, WXY. That went up along the single tick past that marked angle. So CDE, CDE. And it, again, and if you forget, you know, go back and review. SAS stands for side angle side. SSS stands for side, side, side. And that's really what you should try to remember. And this will be so easy to do, you won't even be thinking of them. But that's what you kind of need to think of. I got a side angle side and a side angle side. And this is a, ooh, see, this is one where that we have two single tick marks, a two, double tick marks, and then an angle that's equal. But this these two sides, the angle is should be this one, and it's out here. It's not being formed by the two. So this is one of those ones that might be a little tricky. It's not that one. It's these two. So TSR, TSR, and since I went along the one and the two, I'm going to go along the one and the two. So HIJ, HIJ. And again, you notice that there's no way for me to jump ahead. It's not going to get any harder than any of this. You'll notice we have all the sides, but we just got to make sure we have the number, same number of tick marks. One, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, four. So it's these two. And I'm going to start next to the one and go past the two and then up to the four. So I'll start here at R, R, S, Q. And then I'm going to start here and go I, K, J. So I'm in the right order and I'm using the right letters for the right corresponding parts. If you have any questions, to bring them to class and we will help you.